Hi everyone, welcome to project3dprint.com. Today we're going to be assembling the laptop cooler pad project. Uh, this is a really easy project to assemble and build. Um, if you haven't already, then jump online, project3dprint.com, and you'll find the project where you can uh, find links to download the print files, the STL files, and also you can order the electronic components for the kit too. So if you've already done that, then we can get started. Um, basically there's two, two different files that you'll need to print out. Um, this first one here, which you can see is one of the arms for the laptop cooler. Um, this one doesn't have the USB little recess in it. And this is the one which has the USB recess in it. So you'll need to print three of these and one of those. So let's get started then. So just some tips on printing these parts. Both of these parts are printed in the orientation as shown with uh, this side down on the printer bed. Um, there will be a couple of areas of support material that you need to remove. Here's one here which has come off the printer. Um, I've printed with a little bit of brim around the bottom which you can remove just to make sure you get good adhesion to the bed. And then this area here where the cable uh, wraps around has a little recess there and that's got support port material underneath there. This area here, um, also you need to remove all of this support material here. Just be careful and take your time with removing that though because there's actually two little pins on the top and bottom flanges there which if, you, if you're a bit rough and rushing removing the material you'll, you'll probably snap those off too so just be careful when you get to the ends each end removing that material. Next let's have a look at the electronic components that come with the kit. First we've got our our fan, our DC fan. This fan is actually rated to 12 volts um, but no need to worry, yes your USB port does uh, output 5 volts just means that the fan runs a little bit slower but with testing it, it draws quite a nice uh, airflow even, even on 5 volts and it only draws about 125 milliamps from your USB port which is perfectly safe as well. Secondly we have our cable a USB DC charging cable. I've already snipped off the end of the, that cable um, as you can see so you'll need to do that uh, in the project when we start assembling it. So let's get started on assembling. First thing you want to do is uh, take, the, take the fan unit and take the arm which has the USB port on it or the recess for the USB port sorry and you need to, this gently slides over, clips over top. We've got two pins on each side. You'll need to stretch these arms out a little bit. Um, obviously don't stretch them too far otherwise they will break. But if you're just gentle and careful in doing it, they, they all go on very easily. Um, this first one with the USB port, the orientation, it needs to go, notice where this wire is coming out. The one with the, this arm needs to go on this corner here as shown. So we just gently spread the arms and when they're in position on the holes, they'll just click in like that. Nice and nice and uh, nice and firm there with no chance of um, coming out. So you want to do that now with the remaining three arms. Assemble all of them on each corner, one, two, three, and then we'll look at joining our fan motor to the USB cable. So next we just have to join our fan wire to our USB power wire. Easiest way to do that is um, we first have to measure the cable. The easiest way to do that is just sit the USB into its little tuck away spot for when it's not being used and then wrap the cable around this will have plenty of length in it to reach your USB ports when it's sitting underneath your computer wrap it all the way around and then cut the cut the cable so it's about halfway in between where my finger is well, right there, about halfway along the arm that comes out 
So what we'll do, I've already obviously pre-cut this one so about the right length. So you'll just snip your one to that length. And then we just need to solder these wires together. Likewise, we just need to cut shorten this one too to about the same point. So we just snip. And we'll just expose a little bit of wire at the end. Yeah. And so that we can get a nice fitting at the end, it's actually easier to slide the wires up through here because it's very hard to get that black cable through any other way. Thread it up through like that and then we need to solder our wires together. So if you haven't had any experience with soldering, I definitely recommend giving it a go. Um, if you don't own a soldering torch, um, you can purchase one such as this little butane powered one. Um, very easy to use, just recharge with a butane uh, canister. Um, you can purchase these on our website if you don't have one and get one sent out with your, with your kit. So in order to solder, the easiest way to do this is just add a little bit of solder to one of the wires. And then we can bring the other wire into it and just gently work the solder onto both wires like that. So once you've got those two wires soldered up, we just need to apply a bit of electrical tape to each connection just to cover our join. just to stop the wires touching one another and shorting out. Okay, once you've got those covered up, we can tuck this away. So once you've got these two wires all taped up, just do your best to tuck them back into this little recess where we pulled them out from. So that's about as good as we'll get those wires there. Just make sure that it's when it's sitting right way up, that it's sitting nice and flat on your surface. Next we can give it a quick test to make sure that everything's working. And so long as you've got your polarity around the right way, then the fan will be spinning the correct way. It'll be drawing air in from this top side and blowing it out through the bottom side, through the gap on the bottom. So here we've plugged it in to a USB port. We can just adjust the legs to how we want them. We can sit our laptop on top like that and you've got a nice and sturdy laptop cooler. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check back at project3dprint.com for new and exciting projects.